Hi, this is Jonathan Gardner. We're still in section 513 of Griffith's Introduction to Electrodynamics. This is the last part of it, um, after example 4, um, page 206 there. If I go too fast, you can always rewind. If you have any questions, you can put it in a video response or the comments below. All right, so we know that the current flowing through some arbitrary surface is equal to the volume current times the area that's perpendicular to that. Well, that's just the dot product. J, D, A vector. We take those two and we dot them through. That's the amount of current flowing through across some arbitrary surface. Um, so the dot product, you know, will only pick out the perpendicular component. The parallel component doesn't contribute at all to the dot product. So um, then we do this little trick. We say, well, how much? So let's take some volume integral. Let's take the divergence of this J vector. Okay, so the volume current. Okay, so is there current flowing into or out of this point? Okay, and applying uh, Gauss's theorem, Green's theorem, whatever, it's the same as the enclosing surface, J vector dot dA vector. Ah, <gasps> look at that. So it's the current flowing into or out of a, a certain volume through the surfaces is equal to the accumulation or the, um, the losing of the current inside. Well, so let's write it out this way. So um, the current is kind of like this. So we write out uh, that the volume integral of the divergence of J vector d tau. Um, because charge is conserved, if there's charge flowing into the surface, um, we need minus sign here. So, because charge is conserved, you know charge doesn't spontaneously appear at a place or or disappear from reality. So it has to be coming into the surface. So the flow of charge through that surface is the same as the flow of the change of charge within that volume. Okay, which we can bring that d by dt in. And so we get minus the integral of v of the partial derivative with respect to t of the charge density d tau. Okay, and then picking these out from the middle, we get that the divergence of the volume current is equal to negative of the change of charge density at that point. Okay. And so when you have a point of convergence of the volume current, that means current's flowing into a point, uh, then that means, no, 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 yeah, convergence, that's right, convergence. So the divergence is negative here. Then that means that the charge is accumulating. So this charge is becoming bigger and bigger. You have a point of divergence where the charge is coming away from a point, or the current's flowing away from a point, that means the, the charge density is in is uh, decreasing at that point. Okay, and that's uh, this is called the continuity equation. Oftentimes, when you're charged, uh, solving problems that involves currents, which you know magnetic problems tend to, um, this is the one equation that's assumed. Kind of like in electrostatics, you know, the one one equation that's assumed is that the potential at infinity is zero or whatever it is. So there you go, the continuity equation. Um, wanted to summarize because they do it in the book and it's kind of useful. So here's basically all the analogs. So sum of uh, qi times the velocity of i is similar to the line integral of i vector uh, dl. IDL is similar to the surface vector, the surface integral of K vector DA is similar to the um, volume integral of J D tau. Okay, this is similar to um, the equations we had in electrostatics, which was the sum of QI at a position. Um, R. I want to put R. Why do I want to put that in there? It's similar to the um, 
resistance line densities than we have surface charge densities than we have volume charge densities. And so there's equations that you're going to see. If you, if you have an equation that deals with the motion of a particle, you can pretty much substitute in one of these equations, you know, just putting whatever belongs in here, you know, inside there. Just like you could for, you know, the potential or the, um, the potential or the um, uh, electric fields of the various things that you did in electrostatics. So it's pretty comparable. It's a nice little parallel there. All right. Thanks for your time.